For many people in America, they're looking forward to November 5th because they think that that is decision day. But my sisters and brothers, I want to tell you that today, today is decision day. Today. Today, the 25th of August, 2024, it is decision day for you. So what will be your decision? We heard in our first reading, Joshua speaking to the people and he said to them, choose today whom you will serve. Choose tomorrow? No, choose today whom you will serve. So hopefully, I can answer like Joshua, and I will say, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. In other words, the Lord is the person that we will choose. No other God. Because when the Lord gave the commandments to Moses, the very first commandment was, and is, I am the Lord your God. You must have no other gods but me. But we have been choosing other gods, haven't we? We have made politicians into our gods. And so we quote the politicians more than we quote the words of Scripture because we think that they are the saviors. But I have news for you, they are not. God said, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other God but me. So Joshua was pointing that out to the people, because remember that Joshua was the one who took over after Moses. So Moses gave the people the law. And Moses, having gone, then the people were making different choices. Thankfully, the people responded by saying, how could we serve any other God? Because it is this Lord who brought us out of the land of Egypt. It is this Lord who has taken us into the land of the promise. And therefore, they decided that they will choose the Lord, the Lord alone. But you and I know their history, don't we? Because their history is our history as well. Because those same people who said that they would serve the Lord and serve Him only are the same people who turned against the Lord and followed other gods. It's the same thing that is happening with us. Because we made a vow, or the vow was made in our name at our baptism. Because we were asked at baptism, do you reject the devil? Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? And we said, yes, I do. But what do we find ourselves doing? Today, we are accepting all the empty promises that we get from politicians. That's what we're doing. Because we have forsaken the Lord. 
And so people will come to church and they come and it is so easy for us to offer lip service instead of offering life service. And no doubt you may be listening to me and I'm not putting myself in the same category as Jesus. But the people who heard Jesus speak, they said, these are hard words. These are hard words. Who can live by them? Who can abide this? And what did they do? They stopped following him. And there are people who go to church and they have stopped following Jesus. They're coming in with their feet, coming into the building. But their lives, their lives are not following Jesus. And so, Jesus looked to his disciples and he asked them the question, Do you also want to leave? And that's the question I'm asking you. Do you also want to leave the church? Do you also want to leave from following after God and His ways? Do we find His ways and His words too hard for us? And we want to choose something else. But hopefully, we'll answer like Peter. And we'll ask, Lord, to whom shall we go? To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life and we have come to believe and we are convinced that you are the Christ. Have you come to believe that? Are you convinced that he is the Christ and that there is no other? So if you are convinced about that, then why not live it? Live it. Don't just say the words. Be that. Be what you say rather than live a life of hypocrisy. There's too much hypocrisy in our church today. Too much. If we believe something, then let us live it. Let us not pretend to be something else. And therefore, every time we come to a celebration of Mass, we come and we come expected to hear those words, those words that challenge us to make a decision. For God, there's only one day. There's no yesterday and there is no tomorrow, but there's always today. That's where the psalmist says, Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Today, today. And when we celebrate the Eucharist, we're saying, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us give thanks. Because today, we want to say again, my choice is Jesus. My choice is Jesus and there is no other. Because we have come to believe and we are convinced that he is the only one. So I am convinced of that. Like Joshua, like Peter. Are you?